Good morning, tubers. Matt M. Roy back again. Back to you on the 8th of October, 2017. Um, a little bit worse for wear. Uh, ever since uh, late last night, I started feeling like really woozy. Um, kind of just really lacking in uh, energy. I actually uh, went to bed probably around 8.30. Woke up this morning, I'm starting to feel maybe a little bit better, but I think I'm battling what they like to call a stomach flu at the moment. I've had um, some not so very nice bowel movements this morning, <laughs> and I'm going to leave it at that. Um, it may have been something I ate last night, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to try to take it easy today. If I feel better, I am definitely going to try to get a little exercise in today. If all that is is walking around the neighborhood then so be it, but I am going to try to do something today, I just, I have no idea, I've not had one of these in a long time, actually, I don't think I've had one of these since I worked for Batteries Plus years ago, well, a year or so ago, so that's a good thing, but you know what, sometimes these things just creep up on you really quickly like that, and it may not even be that, it may have been just something that I ate, but I'm just going to try to take it really easy today, um, when you're feeling queasy like that, you want to drink plenty of fluids, um, try to limit your activity because it'll actually make things worse, believe it or not, if you were like to go out and, I don't know, run a marathon or something when you're feeling like this, by the end you'd be feeling pretty bad because it actually gets your system moving too fast at that point, so... I don't know. Hopefully this goes away really quickly. I was supposed to do something with my buddy Jeff today, but I'm just not feeling up to it. I don't want to, uh, and not only that, I don't want to risk infecting him with anything if it does, if this does want to be some type of virus. So if you see this, Jeff, I'm sorry, buddy. I wish I could be there. I just need to, uh, figure out what's going on with me right now. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pause this vlog for a few minutes. I'm going to try to film a little bit today. This may wind up being a multi-day vlog, once again, just depending on um, how I feel. But we'll see what the rest of the day brings, and I'll talk to you guys a little All bit right, later. All right, tubers, trying a different angle here in the car, trying to see, or I should say the van, trying to see if I can get a little bit better lighting here. I know I've had some complaints recently that my lighting isn't the greatest, so I'm going to try it up a little higher. Um, well, <laughs> I was going to head out and do a walk today, but it's just ridiculously hot. I mean, I was hoping that maybe the humidity would go down a little bit, but all that's happened is the temperature shot up to about 83 degrees, so I'm going to be heading over to the mall to try to get my exercise in for today. Being at Sunday, the mall doesn't open until 11 a.m., so I'm trying to get there right at 11. That way there won't be a lot of people there, because it is Sunday, and even though our mall is on the downswing, it can get fairly busy uh, on the weekends. Um, I am going to try to do a cooking video tonight for you guys. That has probably been, no, I'm going to take it back. It has been the number one most requested uh, of videos from you guys. And I definitely understand it. I love food, even though I'm trying not to make it uh, everything in my life anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to try to do a cooking video tonight. I'm going to do my version of basically ch uh, chicken fajitas. Uh, I actually marinated, uh, two days ago I marinated some uh, white meat chicken breast in just um, P.F. Chang sesame sauce that we got up at the Village Variety when uh, I was up in New York. And I got this stir fry mix uh, from Dollar Tree that's frozen. I'm gonna go ahead and cook that in the um, wok today. I was gonna originally use the grill, but I think the wok is a little bit better because you can even get a higher heat there and it'll kind of sear the meat and cook it properly. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put in some um, this fajita sauce that my mom has lying around in the fridge. So it's gonna be kind of a hybrid. Usually when we do chicken fajita, is we just use that fajita sauce, but I thought that the uh, sesame uh, sauce would be, would marinate the chicken nicely, get that nice strong sesame flavor inside, and then just use the fajita sauce to sear the outside of it. Should at be absolutely delicious. I'm gonna try to cook some rice. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of the um, Mahatma um, yellow rice, which is the saffron rice. That pairs so nicely with uh, any kind of Mexican type dish. Uh, let me get another sip of this coffee because I'm only on my second cup. As you guys know, I love my coffee. Mm. 
I need to go pick up some more uh, K cups. Incidentally, for those of you that um, follow me for any length of time and saw my um, live stream I did of the Village Variety in Green, New York, if you guys are ever up that way, check them out because the owner Mike there is always getting K cups in, and the prices are phenomenal. I got a 18 pack of. Um, Maxwell House House Blend coffee there for about $4.50. And if you guys know what that'll cost you in the store, that's about a 60 to 70% savings. And the stuff is still good. It may be slightly out of date, like mine was a couple of months past its due date, but it's perfectly fine. Especially with K cups, because K cups are, are sealed, they're vacuum packed in those little pods, so you really don't even have to worry about it. And every single one was delicious. And on my last one right now, um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the vlog for right now. I'm going to do the cooking video separately tonight because I want to use a different camera. I don't want to use my cell phone for that. I'm actually going to use the same camera that I um, used when I filmed the Animal Adventure Park, which incidentally that video has exploded. I cannot get over. I think it's up to about 4,000 views right now, and for me, that's quite a bit. So I'm going to use that camera again because I really like the... Um, the resolution of that camera and the fact that it has the uh, Leica glass lens. So let me pause this vlog before I start rambling on too much, and I will talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, tubers. Whew, just finished my mall walk here, and you can see I am all sweaty right now. Uh, <laughs> I just completed uh, about two miles. It was two laps around the mall, and uh, I averaged at 3.3 miles an hour, so I'm actually about 0.5 or half a mile per hour faster than I usually am. And that's because I've been able to work up to that point. Uh, when we first started this, I was lucky to be able to have a pace of about two and a half miles an hour. Now I'm up to 3.3. I'm hoping soon to get up to maybe close to 3.8 or 4 because that's actually considered a real power walk or even close to a run. So that is really awesome. The reason I didn't do it anymore is I have, have a, quite a few things I need to do the rest of the day. I'm going to be doing a lot more walking. So I'm not too worried about it. I think I'm going to get my steps in for today. Whew! i tell you, the mall was really hot, being that it's Sunday right 11 o'clock. I think what they're doing to try to save money is they're uh, cutting the AC off at night. So in the mall, it was actually pretty warm. Usually it's probably down in the 60s. I would say it was close to 78, maybe almost 80 degrees. And if you look at my shirt, you can see I was perspiring fairly nicely in there, which is what you want to do because that actually helps you get rid of the water weight. And I think that's why I haven't been able to lose as much weight as I would have liked to. Um, when it gets cooler outside and you're walking and you're not really perspiring, you are going to be burning fat, but you want to also burn off that excess water that your body tends to retain. And that the way you do that is to actually sweat. So I'll have to really check my, um, my weight over the next couple of days and see if I've dropped significantly. I know that I have over the last couple of days. I just weighed myself this morning and I was 317. So that is absolutely awesome. And this is the right way to go about losing weight. There are those fad diets. It's, you know, low carb, Atkins, you got these um, stuff like the South Beach diet, you got all these really fad diets that promise you weight loss really, really fast. I mean, shoot down 20, 30 pounds a month. Those don't work. I'm going to tell you why, because you don't keep the weight off. It's actually a lifestyle change. And I know I've said this in the vlogs before, but I, it's it definitely bears reiterating because I've learned that I can't eat emotionally, and that's what I used to do um, when I would get um, anxious or start feeling depressed about one thing or another. Um, I would just go to my crutch, which was food. I mean, I would grab a candy bar or I would eat an extra sandwich at lunch or, or breakfast, and all that adds up, and that's how I actually got to my highest weight, which I am going to tell you right now was about 416 pounds, and that was about five years ago, and I never, ever want to get back at anywhere near that again. So what I do now is if I feel anxious or I feel like depressed, instead of going to eat, I just go and exercise. I go take a walk. I go for a bike ride. I just do something that'll benefit my body versus hurting my body. It's almost like taking your own rage out on your own body. Like when you don't feel good about yourself, you just go ahead and go to your crutch. Now for some people that's alcohol, some people it's drugs, other people it's food, and unfortunately for me, for many years, it has been food. But everything is, like, is changing right now, and I hope I'm going to um, motivate some of you guys to do the same thing. 
just basically get out there. If you if you're like me, you're you know trying to lose weight, but you get anxious, you kind of get depressed at times. Don't let it get you down. Take all that emotion, all that anger, that depression that you would normally put into eating or you know going on one of your other crutches, and put that into exercise. It really does work, guys. And I'm telling you, you can lose a bunch of weight and. I'm going to go as far as to say, if any of you guys live in my area, and you guys know that I live in the Hampton Roads area of Virginia, and you ever want a mall walk, send me a personal message or sh or put something in the comments down there, and I'll mall walk with you. Um, I have no problem doing it here. Um, I can go to any of one of the area malls, except probably Patrick Henry. That's pretty far from me, but um, going down to uh, Virginia Beach, let's see, what do we got down there? Lynn Haven Mall. Um, I'm thinking maybe Pembroke Mall. Pembroke Mall is probably not a good idea. Pembroke Mall is kind of old and it's very oddly shaped. Not really good for walking, but Lynn Haven Mall early in the mornings. Um, Greenbrier Mall in Chesapeake would be ideal for that, especially early in the mornings. They have a very wide area on the first and second floor. And um, yeah, so any one of the area malls, if you guys are interested, just send me a personal message, leave me a comment, and I will get you started and I will give you a, a plan for success. And I'm I'm telling you it is working tremendously for me well i got a few errands i have to run i'm gonna go ahead and pause the vlog for right now we will see what the rest of the day brings and i'll talk to you guys on the flip side all right tubers about to leave best buy just picking up this uh, pny 128 gigabyte um, usb 3.0 flash drive i have a, a gift card and a five dollar reward zone certificate should take care of most of the cost of this so needed another one of these i gave one away when i uh, did a backup for somebody so we're going to head out and uh, got to do some shopping at aldi and talk All right, to you tubers guys i am back home and i'm gonna end this vlog for today but before i do let's get a current weight here let's see 318.5. Now that's not too bad considering that I just uh, ate fairly recently. So I know that's going to go down from here. I did get my walking in today. The cats are really interested in me petting them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. End the vlog here. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day everybody.